Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. Just want to say thanks to all 1,278 subscribers out there. Um, if this is your first time viewing uh, a video on the channel, please click subscribe right here. It facilitates the mission of getting information out there to those of you who need it most, meaning the people that are learning ServiceNow. Um, you know, like I said in previous videos, I'm just so appreciative that I've made it to this this amount right now and uh, if you can do that uh, again it facil facilitates that global mission of uh, getting transferring that knowledge to the people who need it most so you probably remember in one of the previous videos that I did a little script on how to modify the incident form based on different values so so when there was a change in the state value um, it would change the fields to, to certain values. So if we take a look at it, set hold reasons um, to a waiting vendor. And then here's our script right here, where we basically said, you know, if the state, and remember state's an integer, um, is negative 50, then, you know, it takes these actions, sets these values. So today what we're going to do is we're going to clear the values out of some reference fields. And you're probably like, you know, Jason, why do I want to do this? Well, let's say you have one key field in our, on your form that you want everyone to basically fill in first and dictate the other field. So a perfect example would be like if we want a category to dictate what's in the assignment group, um, but we don't want to go the length of like putting in a UI policy um, to, you know, hide the field or make it read only or something like that. What we can do is just say clear the back value out and start over, right? So that way it kind of trains the, the service desk um, folks who are using the form to, you know, fill in this one value up here. So I'm going to show you a really simple one um, that I put together. Probably the simplest scripts um, that you'll ever see. So here we are in incident.config. Remember, you can do dot config to bring this nice tab layout um, to show you all the business rules, client scripts, etc., all the business logic stuff that's happening with this application. So here's what we did: clear values on the table, which is incident, right? That's uh, where the form is pulling from that table, and then we're saying it's on change, meaning that anytime this field right here, state, changes, <clears throat> it's going to clear the values of these three. Assign to, assignment group, and category. So, um, and you know, we could, we, we, you know, you could even combine it with the other one to set values or whatever. But basically what we're saying here is that state is like the critical field and we want it to drive the rest of the form. So some of you out there who deal with customers every day, you probably get some requirements like this where it's like, you know, we want this one field here when the state is, <clears throat> when the state changes, we want to make sure that you know, these two fields <clears throat> and the category um, they all change. So let's let's try it out, right? We're going to do inquiry here. We're going to do an assignment group of golden parachutes, and then we're going to put an assigned <clears throat> as me. And then when the state changes, uh, let's just put it to like closed. We're going to see it clears out. The category goes back to none. So just to review here, um, we're just using this G form. Uh, dot clear value and then we put in right here and with uh, single quotes the names of the fields so if we want to find the names of the fields uh, we can go back to our form and all you got to do is right click or two finger click if you're on a Mac like myself and you'll see the names of the fields right there <clears throat> so that's our our little scripting lesson for today my name is Jason Miller founder of Aspen Now Solutions and we just unlocked the power of ServiceNow <laughs>